working. Big news, Barb. I'm putting on a show. Can you believe it? I've already got butterflies. It's been so long. I'm glad it's a small gallery so I can ease my way back into things a bit. And I want to do it right. I'd forgotten how much work goes into things that aren't painting when it's time to put on a gallery. You know I could never stand all the logistical rigmarole. Plus, I have a piece I really want to finish before the show. So much to do. I want to take it seriously and go through the whole process, though, because if the show goes well, who knows? Hope to hear from you, and hope you can come, of course. Yours always, Linda. Has it been five years already? I still remember the thought that blindsided me when I saw Tommy for the first time. He's my new creative work. TJ gave me such a look when I told her I was going to cut back on my painting, but she doesn't have any kids so there's no way she could understand. It's hard to top creating an entire person. Maybe she thought Dan told me I had to stay home. <laughs> that would have been a very short conversation. Still. I can't ignore the fact that it's time to figure out what on hold means. What would it look like to go back full time? Do I want to? Looking good, man. Thanks. Is it time? Hey man, if I'd known my letter would set you off like that, I wouldn't have written. My fault. Let's both just calm down. I see now that it was stupid to ask if you knew any art agents. That's like you asking me if I know any professional sculptors. Dumb question, point taken. But believe me, no one's more worried about the schedule than I am. I think about it every day. I can't get away from it. Most nights I start thinking about it and can't stop. My heart starts beating out of control and I have to get up and try to work just to calm down. I'm not slacking off, man. I shouldn't have made you think I was focused on anything else. I'll get everything sorted out. Seriously. Dan. Can I see? Not yet. Hi, Dad. Hey, bud. It just never stops. Every time I plot something I think will hold together, it falls to pieces. This thing was supposed to be done months ago, but the further I get, the harder it is to make it all work. Nothing's ever as simple as it seems at first. I'll think about a problem for days, finally come up with a fix, and then realize it breaks something somewhere else. I can barely hold all the threads together. Sometimes this thing just feels too big for me and I want to burn it and walk away. But what else would I do? And the deadlines don't help either. I can't think harder or faster. This stuff comes when it comes. And getting stressed out about it just makes it harder to get the words down. Like right now, I'm writing about the thing instead of working on the thing. Damn it, Dan, get to work.
What is it, Mommy? I don't know yet, honey. Can't beat me. on a weeknight in two weeks. Came up with a new slogan. Write sober, rewrite sober, rewrite sober. Hemingway it's not, but it's good to smooth things over with Lynn. Haven't had a drink on a weeknight in two weeks. Came up with a new slogan. Write sober, rewrite sober, rewrite sober. Hemingway it's not, but it's good to smooth things over with Linda and Tommy a bit. Gotta admit, I don't miss hangovers, but still, I do sometimes miss sitting down with a drink and a crazy idea. Hey, what's wrong? I don't know. Painting coming along? Yeah, really good, thanks. Right down there.
Good news! Mom called today with a change of plans. They made better time on the first leg of the trip than they expected, and they're coming to visit. Bad news, they want to come this weekend. Did Dan tell Tynan they could stay here for sure, or is that still up in the air? I'll ask after dinner. She sounded cheerful enough on the phone, though I can't help wondering if they took this trip because they hit another rough patch. I hope not. I hope they just want to see Tommy and have a classic Mears family feast. Though, maybe seeing how they've ended up will be good perspective for Dan and me. Speaking of which, Dad better not get nosy. I've told him a million times that my marriage is not his business. Maybe I'll try the thing Christine told me. When someone asks you something private, just say, why do you ask? Put it back on them and see if they've actually got a reason to get into your business. Yeah, I've got to remember to try that. We'll see how he answers that one. Man, I can't wait. I took Tynan up on the book jam. He hasn't seen a word of my new book, and fresh eyes are priceless. He bailed me out on Tramer's way. I hope he understands how much of that book worked because of him. I still remember when we were walking to the pond, and he had the idea about using newspaper clips and police reports. Of course, no matter how many times I tell interviewers it was his idea, they just keep giving me the credit. Maybe they just want the tidy auteur version. Oh well can't change that. Let's just hope he has an idea for this one, too. Freddy can't get here soon enough.
I'm faster. Good news, Mom. Can Davy sleep over? Let me call his mom. Oh. I'm checking to see if this is a folder. I thought Tommy was sleeping with us. Hey, Mommy. Hi, honey. Oh, I hope they're okay. You get sleep with us. What about Tommy? Did it. Got it to Paul on Monday and just about dropped on the spot. I barely slept Sunday night, but damn it, I got it in. Abject terror is a pretty strong motivator. Linda understood, I guess. She had her own deadline, so at least she could identify, but in the end it was still a choice and she didn't let me off the hook. Can't blame her, really. Sometimes you just have to make tough calls. That's why they're called tough calls.
Barb, sorry it's been so long since I've written. Things have been hectic around here, and I'm trying to figure out a way to get things back on track. I don't really want to get into it, but we're getting pulled in a lot of different directions right now. Nothing hurtful, just competing priorities, I guess. Although those can get worse and worse over time. I mean, Dan and I, before we got up here, you know we'd started to drift. Look at that. I said I didn't want to get into it, and I did anyway. Enough about me. Please tell me you're doing well, and I hope this doesn't stress you out too much. I promise to write a happier letter soon. Yours always, Linda. Dan and I had a good conversation today. Well, we'll have to wait and see if it was actually good, but I feel like I got my point across about family time. We've been getting a little frayed on the little things lately, and it reminded me of something Anne said one time. Love is a behavior, not an emotion. If something's important to you, you show it with your actions. We weren't doing so well with that before we got here. I told Dan my idea. I want us all to eat together at seven every night, with family time after that. Tommy's wiped out by 8.30, so we'd get a solid hour and a half as a family, and then Dan and I could have the rest of the night to ourselves. And I think seven's a reasonable request. The rest of the working world knocks off at five, right? It doesn't really matter what we do with the time, just that we spend it together. It's easy to make excuses when you've got a lot going on, which is why patterns help. I hope he feels the same way. We barely talked yesterday. 
Wow, you're right. I guess we've just been so busy. Mom tried to hide it, but I can tell when she's disappointed. I hate that they couldn't come, especially after they tried so hard to make time. Maybe if she'd called before they changed plans, it would have gone smoother. It's impossible not to think about the rough patches Mom and Dad hit without thinking about Dan and me. I should bring that up to him and see what he says. He's mentioned their history before. I'd love to hear his answer when I make the comparison. Can he talk his way out of that one? I'm faster. Alan, this letter might come from out of the blue, but do you remember when you told me about Bobby falling behind on reading? Looks like we're there with Tommy. We knew he was struggling when we came up here, but his teacher gave us a list of books for him to work on over the break and said we should see how he responded to the change in environment. She gave us a few sample readings and told us to keep an eye on how he was grasping the concepts. Tommy still isn't there, and long story short, the pediatrician in town knows a specialist who gave us some exercises to try. They seem pretty straightforward, but I wanted to write and see if you had any tips that helped you guys with Bobby. Damn, just realized I didn't even ask how you've been. I'm sorry. This stuff is just a lot to think about. Dan. easier if I didn't ever have to sleep. Last night after Linda went to bed, I spent some time, there's that word again, trying to make everything fit. I even drew up a little chart. The math is simple. It doesn't work. Technically, I could still get in eight hours, assuming I don't eat or need to do anything that's not writing. But what about letters, reading, dealing with Paul? Hell, what about doing the dishes or taking out the trash? Not to mention the knocking off for the day isn't like flipping off a switch. It takes time to crawl out of my head and start functioning like a normal person again. And I can't just split it up into smaller chunks. Sometimes it takes an hour of false starts just to get going on anything usable. And stopping just sends the whole process right back to square one. Something's got to give. Having fun? You bet. Will it make me smarter? Honey, listen to me. You are smart. Blast off! Having fun? Yep. We barely talked yesterday. Wow, you're right. I guess we've just been so busy. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped. I just... No. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped. I just...
Tyna and Kelly left this morning. I wish they could have stayed a little longer, but it was great having them. It felt just like college again. Fishing, having a few beers, talking about how we're going to conquer the world. Working through some issues on his book even gave me an idea for how to fix the logjam in Act 2. Funny how creativity works sometimes. I've got to remember to put him in the acknowledgments. Why are you shooting? Why are you shooting? 